we're back to talk about the Nat Lana situation again. And I know repeating the same type of topic twice. What? But at the very same time, when I was looking through the comments, I often see, you know, people were talking about the different sorts of things and honestly how they felt about it. And when it came down to it, trying to come up with a conclusion by looking at other people's takes is almost damn near impossible with the amounts of like bias and just straight up bs filler that's around their content and videos it kind of makes it very annoying for me to watch so when it comes down to it i'm just gonna give my own two cents and try to revisit it but give a bit more detail except i'm not really gonna focus too much on the you know genshin side of things i'm really just gonna focus on the idea of just putting in characters and stories and we'll obviously use my own story and characters for my own examples when it comes down to things as well as like other shows and stuff as well too let's just be real let's just keep it a stack with each other right the main thing of what hoyoverse wants to do is make their games and proceed to make money that's essentially the main whole goal right and when it comes down to it they're gonna make characters that obviously is going to fit in their world and what they want to do and at the end of it their main focus of their audience that they're trying to please, if you haven't noticed already, is mainly their Chinese and Asian players. And Eastern players, really. And when it comes down to it, that's it. There, there is no discussion, no debate. They're basically like Japan way back in the day when they used to make anime just for the Japanese. And then if you're someone from overseas that wants to get in on it, then you can. And that's essentially how it goes. Nowadays, it's not so much like that anymore, which is a damn shame because it's killing the creativity. But at the very same time, that's what China is doing now, especially when it comes to something like Genshin, right? They don't want to necessarily focus too hard on you know the overseas people because they're not really worried about that they're just focused on people within their eastern territories and that's essentially about it right i mean all you need to do is look no further than your own mail when it comes down to you know what you get in genshin because you probably got a 1600 amount of primo gems for not the natland skin design and all that type of stuff but because of nubilet's spin speed of how he has that you know elemental skill and all that sort of stuff with his charge attack or whatever you know and that's essentially why they gave you the 1600 because they nerfed him on that not because of the whole natland issue and to be very real they're never really going to focus on that and they're not going to pay too much of attention on that and hell even if you went to another holy first game same shit you go to star rail you're not going to care about that you go to zilla zone zero not going to care about that in fact when it comes down to it the only time they'll care to put one character like that in is when they feel like it's necessary honestly and that's essentially about it right so they're not going to necessarily just sit here and do that they're going to do that when it's absolutely necessary does it suck sure but at the end of the day it is their effing game at the end of it right because again there was a point in time before all the dei and esg stuff and something that obviously the west is super heavily focused on way too damn much on to the point it's killing games in the industry as a whole they used to just make characters for the sake of making characters and that's kind of my prerogative when it comes down to making anything related to create my own creations and fiction and whatever because i don't put in specific characters just because of representation or anything like that in fact i don't do it for representation at all because to me if i just do it for that reason then it's a bit pointless to me. At least I don't really view representation in fiction as a high regard of a thing that needs to happen. Like personally for me, I don't care. If you do, that's you and that's fun. But for me personally, and for a lot of other people, representation like that does not matter for us. At least on that high end scale of things that must happen, right? It just doesn't. So for an example, in my own show, I have a lot of people in the harem. And when it comes down to it, as you probably clearly see if I have pictures just ready to go, you can definitely see a lot of the harem is white or, you know, definitely lighter skinned. And when it comes down to it, the only character that isn't is this one eye patch wearing fox girl essentially and when it comes down to it did i chuck her in because of representation did i chuck her in because i want to support my own black people no i basically just chucked her in because i was like damn we don't have a dark skin girl in this shit need to chuck one in and that's essentially the only reason why and hell to be real with you in at least the lore of this character her ass ain't even really fully black like her ass is not necessarily adapt to 
you know, our human culture of what we think and what we know. Her ass is adapt to a whole alien ass culture. And in that culture, you can be white and black and you can still make whatever type of kid that you want to make with whatever type of skin color, essentially. Hell, you can be a white person and another white looking person. And essentially, you have a black kid. Like, that's how their race works. Because at the end of the day, it, nothing is defined hard like that unlike our race and that is the lore of that character at least when it comes to their race and their species essentially hell to be perfectly honest with you that's not the only character i made that is dark skin honestly and just did for fun i just did a just recently a tribal character named takara and essentially she's not a part of the story by any chance but i just wanted to make a tribal character girl because that's what i wanted to do i was just thinking damn a hot tribal character that's extremely horny and just wants to bang you for her tribe sounds like a good ass time and that's what essentially i did so when it comes down to it i didn't do it for any type of representation reason i'm just like damn a hot tribal character that's dark skin sounds about right honestly you know and that's why on at least when it comes to i think milani i think the fish girl she looking mad fine the way she is personally i'm gonna keep it a stack with you i like it i like her skin tone i think it's perfectly fine i don't necessarily have a bad take to say about it and i don't see a reason why people should be mad at least at milani right when it comes down to it so firstly for me get off my light skin girl's dick but that's just how it is but essentially when it comes down to it, when it comes to, you know, my fox girl, and when it comes to my tribal girl, at the end of the day, that, that's basically how things was back in the day. If, and I think it was like a recent interview with like someone that was working at uh, Microsoft when it came to Halo, like in the first couple of games. And when it comes down to it, they were talking about how they put in like religious like imagery, not because of the religious imagery, but they just put it in because they thought, oh, it would be kind of cool. And then as time grows on, they couldn't do certain things because of certain Islamic groups and whatever. And so that's the first time they had to get something taken out of that because they couldn't just proceed with their creative ideas. Not because they're trying to push some initiative or not trying to because they're trying to push some type of like woke type of thing, especially way back in the day, early 2000s. No, they were just putting in because they were being creative with their ideas and vision. They envisioned something and they wanted to perceive and do it and they can't do that and essentially that type of thing and all that type of stuff nowadays if you try to put it in a lot of people will do it for a agenda or some type of thing when it comes down to it and it's not going to be a good time like look at suicide squad look at assassin creed with yasuke look at that horrible mess of a situation look at literally the star wars acolyte thing literally a lot of it is dog shit and another reason why Genshin will probably never really take that chance of just trying to listen to the Western audience is because look at the gaming industry on the West side. Look at it, really just look at the gaming industry just in general and see how horrible and how shitty it's looking right now. Like you really think that, yeah, come to our side, make your games just as shitty as ours. Do you think they're gonna take that risk? Even if it's for a character design change? I don't think they would. I think they're going to keep what they have and they're going to just accept what it is, right? If people just drop the game because of it, they're going to just drop the game because of it. And at the end of the day, they're still going to continue on because Genshin got that money like that. And they are going to continue on like that just because. And again, if you go to Star Rail or ZZZ, they're still going to continue on because they don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm going to just keep the stack with you. Again, am I saying it's a bad thing to have representation in it? No, but at the very same time, they don't care. They don't necessarily have to care. They're going to care to a certain extent. And maybe that's the reason why they haven't said shit about Natline for so damn long. Because they didn't know what the hell they was going to do. They knew it was going to be something maybe within this area. Which maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that too. Because at the end of the day, I thought Natline was just going to be a messed up looking America. Essentially. I thought it was going to be like an America in ruins and all that type of junk. But that's not what it seems to be. And then when they actually did show it, and it was like, oh, I thought it was something else completely different, but apparently not. Hell, what this really feels like, or what it's reminiscent like, it reminds me of how people complained about Final Fantasy 16 not having any black characters in it, even though literally, if that was ever the case of putting black characters in it, 
oh boy, you wouldn't like the imagery of what would happen if you wanted to be realistic and historically accurate and all that type of shit, right? It would not be fun. Same thing I guess you could say with Final Fantasy 7 when it came down to Cosmo Can. Like there is some dark skin ish people there, but obviously it's just mainly NPCs that don't really hold any solid ass weight. But still nonetheless, they did good with what they had and no one complains about Cosmo Canyon honestly, which what feels like what Natland is kinda into a certain extent. Just a giant ass Cosmo Canyon. But when it comes down to it though, there is games that do have aesthetics and things like that too, but they use what they have and they're not really super focused on real life inspiration from it, but they're trying to take inspiration to craft their game, to craft what they think this would feel right in that world and that's essentially how it is right and yes i understand that genshin obviously has done very good representation of liyue very good representation of inazuma and when it comes down to it you could argue that yeah it's, it's like it is some bs but then look at monstat is monstat being germany being like full of drunk ass people and just a free ass country in the way you think it is Realistically, it's probably not that free, and it's probably not as bad as we think it is. Same thing can be said to, you know, a little bit of Fontaine. Yeah, it's a lot of, like, technology, and it's a lot of French people there, but at the very same time, was it absolutely, completely accurate to the way, you know, the French usually is? not overly accurate it's accurate ish but it's not accurate all the way like they didn't just say here's paris france and here's fontaine one to one no they took inspiration from it and then just said let's just do our own damn thing because of course they would that's the point of inspiration so of course when i see natland and when you see all the you know graffiti and aztec like looks and stuff like that of course they're gonna take that shit and then be inspired to make natland because to that don't follow the rules of the real world honestly why you think we have lollies that are bartenders and you know be zombies and shit like that because it don't follow the rules of real life and that's just kind of how it is so my point is, is that I'm not trying to say that the takes that people have of this is invalid or it's something stupid, but at the very end of it though, you have to realize what game and what company you're dealing with essentially, is that their main priority is to make a good ass story, make some good ass characters, and hopefully you will pull and pay and want to keep playing. And that's essentially about it. They're not really too concerned about, you know, the proper thing to do and the proper moralistic having ass type of tropes and things they should have in their industry because they don't care for that if you don't like it they'll probably just not care about what you say and if you take it two steps further they'll probably just ban you or just get rid of you in some shape and form where you don't have to continue to play their products anymore and that's essentially probably how it's gonna be which for me to be honest is a bit refreshing and that's kind of like well, at least when it comes down to how they handle stuff, it's kind of refreshing to see that Genshin and Hoyoverse kind of do this stuff because where the West has so much focus on it, China and the others don't have that. And it's so nice to see that because I'm not super drowned in with so much political agenda and representation and stuff like that. And what I'm getting from Genshin is something that no other game right now currently can give me is that there is literally nothing, you know, that has like a gin to speak or wokeism or anything like that into it and i feel pretty damn good just continuing to play the game hell there's a reason why i actively keep playing the damn game for a long period of time the reason why i even jumped in because oh wow a game that doesn't feel like i'm being talked down to or having stupid ass morals in it or anything like that and i'm just enjoying my time exploring this wonderful world yeah i'd, I'd probably drop the morals and shit and representation shit too to be very honest with you but that's essentially what I think about the subject. Again, you may not agree, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not sitting here trying to make you agree. I'm not sitting here trying to, you know, force opinions and stuff like that. But at the very same time, I just want to give you a realistic stance on where I'm from and kind of what they probably are thinking too. Again, they're focused on Chinese and Asian and Eastern players. Not about us. If we tag along, then that's cool. But at the end of the day, that's their focus obviously again look at the new bullet situation but that's essentially all i got to say for this one so hopefully you enjoy if you did be sure to like and subscribe 
hit the bell notification and whatever else. Also follow me on socials and you listen to the channel. Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well. And until next time, Sign off. Have a day.